2011, a crack team of Convergence Media members were sent to room 1224 and were given a task. They've been working day and night, non-stop, to provide the Ravens with accurate, hard-hitting, daily information. If you need the news, if no one else can help, maybe you can watch O&W Now. What's up, Ravens? Welcome to your junior edition of o w Now. I'm Caitlin Larson, alongside Haley Pitcairn. Students, be sure all checked out library books are turned in by Wednesday, May 16th. Lauren Markle is a senior here at ONW who is a part of the culinary program at North. Let's take it to Shelby Ostrom for more. This past weekend, ONW's very own Lauren Markle won the National Pro Start Invitational. This Invitational was held in Baltimore, Maryland and hosted multiple competitions consisting of preparing meals and managing restaurants. Lauren and her group participated in the culinary competition where they prepared a three-course meal including an appetizer, an entree with a side dish, and a dessert. Lauren is very proud that her team won and is excited for the things to come. This Invitational has taught Lauren more than just fantastic culinary skills. It has taught her to appreciate and rely on her team to succeed. A lot of schools didn't have good teamwork. They're all really kind of rude to us, I guess. They're all really jealous. So it kind of made us realize that we have to be the bigger people and be nice. Lauren is very involved in the culinary program over at Olathe North. However, only having one year in the program, she is already considering it a success because she is continuing to study culinary in college. I am next year going to Johnson & Wales University in Denver, Colorado. Ravens, be sure to wish Lauren a huge congratulations on her win in Baltimore before the school year is over. Congratulations to Connor Middleton, the winner of the two tickets to the Warp Tour sponsored by o w Film. Thanks to everyone who bought a pencil. Ravens, the industrial tech class is building washer toss games that will be sold next week for $20. 50% of all profits will be donated to our very own Raven Wings. If you would like to buy one, please contact Mr. Holson in room 1727. Our spring sports are finishing off their seasons. Let's take it to Blake and Grant at the game day desk. Hey Ravens, welcome to Game Day Northwest. Alongside Grant Whitehead, I'm Blake McFarland. With spring sports coming to a close, it is time again for state. The Lady Ravens softball team has been dealing with the pressure of being defending state champs. After winning the state title last year, the Ravens are revamped and ready to go for another run. This year, they've been dealing with the added pressure of getting the best shot from every team they've faced. Oh yeah, definitely. When we go out and play, teams always bring their best, and so... Sometimes we're like a little surprised about some teams, so yeah, they always come out playing their best. It appears now that the road to state runs through Olathe and the Ravens are continuing their focus. <laughs> Definitely. We go hard every day in practice and on games when we're on the field. It's just complete focus. As the season comes to a close, it appears now that a showdown for the state supremacy will once again involve Olathe Northwest and Olathe East. Our, I think our biggest goals were to host regionals, that way like we can have a lot of fans to come out and watch us this year before we go to state and definitely to win the state title and some for our league champs which we're tied right now with the late the east so it's a pretty big deal right now for the raven daily i'm blake mcfarland the lady ravens softball team is currently 16 and 4 and is in the top five in the state rankings and is looking forward to the opportunity to winning another state championship the regional tournament starts next monday the baseball team is having yet another great season they are currently 12-8 and, and have a great chance to make the state tournament this year. The Lady Ravens swim and dive team placed second at the Sunflower Meet and look to place second at state, which is next Friday and Saturday in Topeka. Freshman diver Allison Thomas looks to win diving, while swimmers McKenna Reif and Mackenzie Neely are looking to win state individually. The track and field team has broken records and set new standards at ONW this year. As their season wraps up, they look forward to state. The Lady Ravens soccer team is currently 8-6-1 and, and are looking forward to making an impact on the state tournament. The golf team has, has regionals left with an opportunity to make state. The seniors on the team have become great leaders since the injury to top player Matt Green. As the school year comes to an end, we'll look at some of the top 10 plays from this year in Northwest Sports. It's now time for your top 10 plays of the year in Northwest Sports. Number 10, let's take it to the ladies on the pitch. The Ravens juking out the goalie here, put this one in the back of the net. How about that? 
At number nine, Kelsey Brooks here driving lane, putting this one off the square and in. The Lady Ravens basketball team would finish second at state. And at number eight, we've got Willie Colley. Throw it down, big fella. And he's heading off to Kentucky next year. And at number seven, we've got the Lady Ravens soccer team. The stop, the shoot, the goal. How about that? Putting this one in the back of the net. At number six, Connor Milton dropping back to pass. He sees Avery Parker wide open, and he's going to take this one all the way in for a touchdown. At number five, we've got Clark Thomas. He's your four-time defending state champ, undefeated high school diver. At number four, Cameron Gay up to bat. He puts a charge into that one. He'll hit the triple, and he says, yes, sir, can I have another? His next at bat, another triple, as he helps the Ravens defeat Shawnee Mission South. At number three, it's the cross to Michael Thurman, who has the golden boot on this night, hitting the game winner against DeSoto. At number two, it's Tim Mays, and he feels like Dion, folks, as he's going to take that interception back for six as the Ravens would go on to defeat Leavenworth. At number one, Siobhan Shields is going to be that dude. He's going to be that dude dunking all over number 40 for Shawnee Mission West. Those are your top 10 plays of the year. I'm Blake McFarland. Let's take it back to the guys at the game day desk. For Blake McFarland, Connor Perrine, Evan Flugrat, Noah Lucero, Shelby Ostrom, and myself, thanks for watching Game Day Northwest. Thanks guys. Attention freshmen, are you interested in being in sophomore committee? If so, please pick up an application in room 2111. Applications are due Monday, May 21st. Monday night was the Senior Awards Night to recognize all the seniors' hard work over the past three years. Our very own Caitlin Larson has more. This past Monday was Senior Awards Night. Several seniors were awarded scholarships for a variety of accomplishments. This year, the senior class received a total of over $6 million in scholarships, the most ever for a senior class here at ONW. Some of the awards received were Champions of Character for the Senior Male and Female Exemplified Responsibility, Integrity, Servant Leadership, and Sportsmanship through their participation in athletics, Kansas ACT Scholar, which recognizes seniors who achieved a composite score of 32 or above on the ACT assessment, and many other awards. We are proud to have had Ravens with such wonderful abilities and talents. Congratulations to the class of 2012. We're going to miss all of you. For ONW Now, this has been Caitlin Larson. This week, our juniors took over for App of the Week. Let's take it to Blake and Grant for more. App of the Week, coming back at you one last time. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed us. It's been good working with you, Connor. It really has. It's been a pleasure. End of a legacy here at App of the Week. So, you know, Mike, I feel like we should really pass it on. So one last time, app of the week, Tanner Music behind the cameras. I'm Connor Smith. And I'm Michael Thurman. Stay classy, Northwest. Thanks, Con. Thanks, Mike. Blake McFarland and Grant Whitehead. We got new apps, new week, new anchors coming back at you. Grant, tell me about it. Time to put your running shoes on. This week's app is Running Fred. Running Fred is a fun new game where you try to run as long as possible. Along the way, you have to dodge spikes, blades, walls, and among other perilous traps. Running Fred has many characters to pick from, ranging from Plumber Fred to Sir Fred. There are also multiple fun and challenging game modes. One of the game modes is Endless Survival Mode, where the Grim Reaper chases you until you eventually fail. Not only does Fred run, he also jumps and does acrobatic moves to dodge the obstacles that are in the way. Running Fred is a part of the Game Center app so users can track their scores along with the scores of their friends. For Grant Whitehead, this has been Blake McFarland with your App of the Week. We'll be back next year with more great apps. The year is coming to an end, Ravens. Keep focused and finish off the year strong. Next week, the sophomores will take over for the last show of the year. We hope you have a great summer and we'll see you next year. For Caitlin Larson, I'm Haley Pitcairn. <laughs>